Hello, and welcome to the new series called, Bald Guys Reviews and Info Series. Now in this series, we'll be discussing theories, reviews, releases of some things, and much other technology-related stuff, especially Spongebob. So, our little conversation today is a solution to a theory, that so many people probably can't figure out because it's really hard to find information to the real answer of it. So, I know we already probably have the answer to what I'm going to talk about, but I might talk a bit more advanced and deeper into it. So as what the title of the video says, we are going to talk about the infamous deleted scene on Spongebob, where Squidward transforms into a snail. So, before we start a discussion about the information, First we're going to ask a question about its existence. So, is the scene where Squidward transforms into a snail true, or false? Well, I wrote an extremely long comment which is still to be published, giving more evidence about this theory, and from what I wrote, all I can say is that it's false. So, let me explain what's really happening here. So, I know there might be realistic fan-made versions of the scene. But some of these fan recreations are a little too good quality to be classified as airing on an old cable TV, because I saw a thumbnail of a video one day, of a screenshot of the original airing of the episode, which had a more VHS quality of the Nickelodeon Halloween pumpkin logo watermark that was chroma keyed from green and the background was higher quality, unless if the background was low quality because I actually didn't want to click on the video, and from the low size of the picture, it seemed better quality in pixels, so the scene more zoomed in by clicking on the video could be noticeably low quality. And since I'm too terrified and I might have lost the footage, I won't be able to copy and paste the link to the media in the description. Sorry about that by the way. Anyways, although I said quite a couple of sentences to confirm that it is fake, or at least the videos you view about it on the internet are perhaps fake, there's still some hope for its reality. So maybe the scene aired by mistake on a later airing, and that's why probably even children nowadays remember it so much because you see, the creator of this channel, the person who animates me, is actually 12 at this current period of time, and the creator of this channel remembers this scene, unless if his older sister he has got called Chloe, watched the scene once, and had a sibling DNA memory thing, meaning he could remember exactly what his sister did when she was younger before he was born. And following on from what I just mentioned, the animator slash creator does indeed have a sister called Chloe, which lives in her own home and not family, because she's an adult, and of course I can't disclose her address, due to burglary security reasons. Anyhow, the creator asked the question to Chloe if she remembered the scene, and she said no, meaning people could be tricking us into thinking it's real. It might just be a false memory after all this time, or actually, I think I'm getting it a little wrong, because, his sister was born in 1998, meaning she was watching more preschool and baby cartoons around the year 1999, the year when the episode first originally premiered where people thought this scene aired, and actually, furthermore, I would also say that some of the scenes with the wipe transition instead of the bubble transition still haven't had a deleted scene removed where the scene would have been placed which is where the wipe transition is, even though the wipe transitions are known for giving a clue that shows that something was cut, but I believe that's not the case anymore, the only reason why the wipe transitions are used is to skip over to the next scene for time constraints of how long the episode can possibly be. And I'm not saying this scene was removed for the time constraints, I'm saying that there was no deleted scene at all, but rather a basic wipe transition instead of a bubble transition used anyway because they decided to do a change of transition, you know? different for a change, and that could be for every other episode. That includes a wipe transition at one point, and by the way, it was included in other episodes like ARG, and one I'm gonna explain in a minute, but we're not finished with this bit yet, so every other episode with the wipe transition, doesn't have a removed scene in between the wipe transition, and the wipe transition plays so copiously without any notes that there's a deleted scene on other episodes, that it's so doubtful that I was a teenage Gary would have a scene within a wipe transition too. And with all of that said, 
Let's talk about the other episodes which have the wipe transitions at certain moments. The episode ARG, is the first one, it's an episode that released on March 15th, 2000. The episode's synopsis, is where Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs play a board game together called, The Flying Dutchman's Treasure Hunt. But, Mr. Krabs is the one who gets a little too distracted and addicted with this game, and gets carried away until he eventually carries on playing it at night. However, the other two players Spongebob and Patrick, refuse continue playing because they're too worn out, even Patrick was like asleep, or, bless him. Anyways, in the morning, Mr. Krabs surprised Spongebob and Patrick that they were going on a treasure hunt adventure. A floating, ship treasure hunt adventure. Oh my gosh. This is so funny, like seriously, Patrick is rowing the ship floating, and I get the joke, they're underwater, meaning that the ship is of course gonna float, it's like the physics of a submarine, I could cry. <laughs> anyway, let's go straight ahead to the wipe transition, and stop continuing to talk about the entire storyline. Okay so before the scene where Spongebob unconsciously ambles home in the night, it's the tired scene, and then a wipe in between the two scenes, so let's watch it. I think we ought to call it a night, Mr. Krabs. I really gotta get some sleep. Oh, you can't walk out of me now. I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. I'll see you tomorrow. So did you see it? Go to the right second of the duration of the video, to replay it, here's the second and minutes. Anyways, now that that episode has been covered, let's get on to the surprise episode. So, the surprise episode I'm just about to reveal, is the Krabby Patty that ate Bikini Bottom. I know this might not seem that much of a surprise to all of you fanatics of my channel, because this is a season 8 episode, and that is on the garbage era of Spongebob. But I'm afraid we're gonna have to talk about it because it does indeed include a wipe transition. And also, the release date is November 25th, 2011. So in this episode, Mr. Krabs visits Sandy's tree dome because he notices that Sandy has a giant soybean. And the scene cut right to the part of him closer to the soybean, instead of showing him walking to the soybean. So, here's the real clip of that transition. Tell me about your giant silly bean. This is the result of an experimental growth serum I developed. It could easily feed a lot of hungry people. So, anyway, here's the minutes and seconds for this one. Go to, go to 739 to re-watch the transition scene. Anyways everyone, don't worry, we were going a little off topic with the episode, but let's get back on track. Shall we ah 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 ah? So, I've got another theory, that is quite doubtful of if it happened, it could be the case of a worldwide dream that we had, however, this might be more definitively false, or it could be that loads of people watched the scene and got so terrified by it, that it caused us to get nightmares about it, but to be honest, that extremely possibly never happened, so it could be people making up stories so powerful and believable, that it caused an arg to happen, this could also be an effect called the illusory truth effect, and also an effect well known called the Mandela effect, the definition of the illusory truth effect is where you believe false information, and take it a little too truthfully, meaning you get a little too perplexed by false information. If you haven't known about what the Mandela effect means, it basically just means you memorize something erroneously, sometimes false information, making it false memory, so this debate of its existence almost might be solved, and I might be a little voracious, but still, this rumor percentagely still hasn't been resolved, so we'll just have to see what the future brings to us, and see if we'll have more documentation about it. This rumor provides lots of evidence you know to be solved. Anyways, this video is getting fairly long now, goodbye peeps. Oh my gosh guys don't just click off the video yet. So, I know I might be wasting your time, but we're gonna tell a fun fact. The I was a teenage Gary deleted scene might have been on a VHS tape that someone has got stored somewhere that on the back of the VHS has a cut out line sheet of paper saying Blue's Clues and Spongebob. 
next to each other on different subsections, so, like maybe someone has a tape of the original airing of the episode after all, followed along with the educational Nick Jr. cartoon called Blue's Clues, and this is quite spooky, especially that Blue's Clues isn't scary at all, compared to that episode of Spongebob called I Was a Teenage Gary, so yeah, now you can really leave, goodbye.